Good morning friends, welcome to our channel BA Vice Investor. NASDAQ closed with a gain of 75 points at 13,760.70 on Tuesday and NASDAQ future is now trading with a gain of 4 points. Dow Jones closed with a gain of 317 points at 34,261.42 whereas Dow Jones future is now trading with a loss of 32 points. S&P 500 gained 29 points and closed at 4,439.26. All European markets entered in green yesterday. Gift Nifty is trading at a loss of 11 points as of now. All Asian markets are trading in mixed May. Indications are that Indian markets may open with a little gain. Nifty may show some recovery in the middle but it may close with more correction today. Reliance, TCS, Bank of Maharashtra and Federal Bank may be in the limelight today. FA is a net bias to the tune of 1197.38 crores whereas DA is a net sellers to the tune of 7.25 crores on Tuesday. FA is bought a net of 10,950.71 crores during the month till date whereas DA is sold 6,597.08 crores till date. Utkar's small finance bank IPO opens today and will close on 14th issue price is 23 to 25 per share. First SGB issue of this year <coughs> issued at 5876 per gram touched a high of 5975 per gram yesterday in bourses. SGB 2023 second tranche slated to be opened for subscription on 11th September and will close on 15th September. Vijay Kedia increased his stake in Patel Engineering to 1.68 percentage. Share closed at 52 a high in NSE at 39.20 yesterday. A contractual employee of Financial Ministry has been arrested for leaking confidential data. GST Council clears 28 percent tax on online gaming on full face value of the amounts. Companies board meetings to consider Q1 results for today are Anandradi, SL Technology, Steel Strips and Wheels Limited and TCS. Asiana board will meet today to consider share buyback. Avantel, BEPL, Birla Money, Federal Bank, Sterling Wilson Solar, Unitech, VB Desai and Vipro will consider Q1 results tomorrow. Today is the last day to buy Amradhanjan to participate in the buyback offer at Rs. 900 per share. RBA is targeting 1 million central bank digital transactions per day by the end of this year. Shaping Corporation of India had already announced demerger of its land and assets in the ratio of 1 is to 1 to the existing SEA shareholders. Now, SCA disinvestment may take place in September 2023. SCL Technology is expected to report a decline of 5.3 percentage Q on Q and 8.1 percentage decline on year on year in net profit. Jammu and Kashmir Bank is board is meeting on 15th July to consider raising of capital. Greaves Cotton touched a sale of 2 lakh units of its East Quarter till the first quarter of 2024. Pratap Snacks has fixed 27th July as recorded for payment of dividend. Credent Global Finance Board has fixed a record date as 17th July for rights issue which is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 at Rs 140 per share. Sterling Technologies Limited has announced its partnership with Windstream to provide optical networking solutions to them. Plasti Benz India reported a decline of 24 percentage in net profit in Q1. TCS is expected to report a decline of 4.6 percentage net profit in quarter and quarter. Motilal Aswal has recommended the following stocks. Tata Motors by target 700. Varun Beverages by target 940. HDFC Securities recommended to reduce Balkrishna Industries with a target price of 2083.
Yes, security is recommended to buy Amber Enterprises with a target price of 2,929. ICIC security is recommended to buy Genus Power with a target price of 185. Due to imposition of GST at 28% on online gaming, Nazara Technologies and Delta Corporation may face some down, downward action. Bharti Airtel has entered into an agreement to buy an additional 20.6% stake in Lavalle Networks in which they had already have 25% stake. Supreme Court adjourned the hearing in Adani case to 14th August. Vaishali Parik of Prabhudas Leladar recommends Federal Bank buy at 132, stop loss 130, target 137. Century Textiles buy at 878, Stop loss 867, target 910. AU Small Finance Bank, buy at 777, stop loss 768, target 804. <coughs> Happiest Mind Board will meet on 14th July to approve the issue of equity shares to qualified institutional buyers. Johnson's Control has launched a technology and innovation center in Bangalore. Tattwa Chindan Board has approved Fundraising up to rupees 200 crores. Smith Bagadia's intraday stock for today are Ashok Leyland, buy at current market price 166.40, stop loss 162, target 174. Glenmark Pharma, buy at current market price 670.60, stop loss 658, target 690. Anuj Gupta's stocks for today are Sun Pharma, buy at current market price, stop loss 1040. Target 1130. Sale buy at current market price. Stop loss 86. Target 97. Ganesh Dongre's intraday stocks for today are Dabur buy at 582. Stop loss 570. Target 595. Bell Bharat Electronics Limited buy at 127. Stop loss 120. Target 135. Stocks under NSC FNDO ban today are BHEL Delta Corporation. Granules India, India Bulls Housing Finance, India Simmons, Manapuram Finance, Punjab National Bank and Z Entertainment Limited. Multi-bagger stock to consider today is Zwari Industries Limited. It is a diversified advanced group company. The group comprises of 23 companies in 4 industry verticals. Market capitalization of the stock is 449 crores, book value 804. Face value 10. Earnings per share is 103, 52 week high is 194, 195, 52 week low is 104. P is 1.47 as against industrial price earning ratio of 12. Promoters holding is 56.8 percentage. They pledged 7.07 percentage. Deputy equity ratio is 1.10. ROC is 10.8 percentage. Return on equity is 11.1 percentage. And intrinsic value is 1005. Stock is trading at 0.19 times of its book value. 50 day moving average is 140 and 200 day moving average is 139. Currently, the shares is trading at 151.50. Company has delivered a profitable growth of 63.9% CAGR over the last 5 years. Market value of the investments is Rs. 2,601 crore as against the market capitalization of 449 crore. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.